One in four women and one in nine men in the United States have experienced severe intimate partner physical violence, intimate partner contact sexual violence, and intimate partner stalking with impacts such as injury, fearfulness, post-traumatic stress disorder, use of victim services, contraction of sexually transmitted diseases, etc. This statistic highlights the widespread nature of abuse and its profound effect on individuals' sense of self-worth and well-being. It is crucial to recognize the significance of maintaining self-worth after enduring abuse. This journey can be incredibly challenging but essential for healing and personal growth. Rebuilding self-worth after abuse requires a multifaceted approach that addresses both the emotional and psychological aspects of healing. One effective strategy is seeking therapy, which provides a safe space to process trauma and develop coping mechanisms. Additionally, practicing self-care and setting boundaries can help individuals regain a sense of control and establish healthy relationships. Remember, past experiences do not define self-worth, everyone deserves to feel valued and respected. Abuse can have a profound impact on an individual's self-worth, leading to feelings of worthlessness, self-doubt, and low self-esteem. It is important to understand the negative consequences that abuse can have on a person's perception of themselves. Rebuilding self-worth after abuse requires a multifaceted approach that addresses both the emotional and psychological aspects of healing. One effective strategy is seeking therapy, which provides a safe space to process trauma and develop coping mechanisms. Additionally, Practicing self-care and setting boundaries can help individuals regain a sense of control and establish healthy relationships. Remember, past experiences do not define self-worth, everyone deserves to feel valued and respected. After experiencing abuse, it is crucial to focus on rebuilding self-worth. This can be achieved through various strategies and tips, including seeking therapy, practicing self-care and setting boundaries. Therapy is an essential component of the healing process. By working with a trained professional, individuals can address the emotional and psychological impact of the abuse. Therapists can provide guidance, support, and tools to help individuals rebuild their self-worth. In addition to therapy, practicing self-care is vital. This involves taking time for oneself and engaging in activities that promote self-love and self-compassion. This can include activities such as exercise, meditation, journaling, or engaging in hobbies that bring joy and fulfillment. Setting boundaries is another crucial aspect of rebuilding self-worth. It involves clearly defining acceptable and unacceptable in relationships and interactions with others. By setting boundaries, individuals can protect themselves from further harm and assert their needs and values. Overall, rebuilding self-worth after abuse requires a combination of strategies and tips. Seeking therapy, practicing self-care and setting boundaries are essential to healing and reclaiming one's self-worth. Remember, it is a journey, and progress may take time, but it is possible to rebuild and thrive with patience and support. In this piece, we aim to emphasize the empowering realization that past experiences of abuse do not define self-worth, but rather, it is an inherent quality within each individual. It is important to remember that external factors, such as past experiences of abuse, do not determine self-worth. Instead, it is an intrinsic quality that exists within each individual. By recognizing this, Individuals can begin the journey of rebuilding their self-worth and establishing healthy relationships based on self-love and self-compassion. Remember, you deserve to feel valued and respected, and with the right strategies and support, you can reclaim your sense of self-worth. Please share your own experiences or tips in the comments section and subscribe for more videos on self-care and personal growth.